What's up, YouTube? Carlos CS5. Um, I wanted to go over a technique um, that I've been trying to implement into my plane. And um, it's kind of noisy here. I got the kids up with their cousins and stuff. And, um, so if, please excuse the background noise of the kids' voices or whatever. But I'm going to try and do this as clearly as I can. Um, so palm muting. Palm muting is uh, a technique that I would mostly associate with um, Anthony Jackson. Um, even though there's a lot of newer guys that are younger guys that are doing that now. But um, I would attribute it to him. And I would thank him for the development of the technique. But anyway, um, I really don't do this too much because I'm not, I don't consider myself to be a great teacher or even a great bass player at, the, at, you know, at that. But I like to share the little that I know. Um, so palm muting, usually when you palm mute, the palm of your hand, it's this part right here, usually the part that your average bass player would use when using the palm muting technique. And you normally would apply it in grooves, uh, usually when it's used more with dynamics. So like if the music is really loud and you're, you know, you're playing the finger style and you want to kind of dampen the notes a little bit, like break it down. Um, usually at those moments is when you would use the palm muting technique for the most part. Not all the time, but usually for, you know, when you want to bring down the dynamics, bring down the volume of the music, um, you would normally use the palm muting technique on the bass. And it's, you normally just, you know, place your hand back here by the bridge, like that. And then you would just lay your hands, lay your fingers across the strings or on top of the strings. And you play across whichever string you want to attack. Alright, so... That's basically with the palm muting technique, how it's laid out. It has nothing to do with um, whatever's underneath the strings because you're playing on top of the strings. Um, that's the only way I would associate, you know, that's how I would associate the, um, the palm muting technique anyway, for me. So you just rest your hand right where the, right where the bridge, before the bridge. Where the bridge starts, you would go before that. If you go too far up when you play, you're pretty much stopping the strings, deadening the, the string vibration so you get no sound. So you would play, go a little further back. And then that's where you get the better tone. Also, depending how, on how hard you press on the strings, I would recommend not to press too hard because then you lose the intonation. It kind of sharpens a little bit and you know, it, it sounds kind of like not clean. So, you know, basically this is that's how I would play it. And again, um, rest your hand, the palm of your hand, that part right there, you rest it right here by the bridge, right before the bridge. And you would play this way. A lot of people kind of confuse the technique. It, re it has nothing to do really with what's underneath the strings, just because you're touching the top of the strings. And it also depends on how you rest your hand. There's different ways to do it. I don't know. Some people use their finger and they mute with their finger. Some people use their palm. For the most part, anyway, use the palm. So that's how I do it. And pretty much this is what it would sound like in a groove. Um, I have a groove here on uh, GarageBand. I have a groove set up. Let's see if it opens up now. All right, so I'm just gonna play the groove, and I'm gonna play a little groove palm muting technique over over the recorded groove. Thank you. 
See right there, I muted it too much. I get that unclean tone. To get it better, lighten up on the strings. So that's pretty much um, how I would uh, use a muting technique or apply it to a groove. Um, so hopefully that would help some of you guys out there that are trying to learn a different technique on bass. Um, until next time, peace out YouTube, Carlos CS5.